Hi and welcome to yet another episode of All About Code. My name is Till and today I'd like to show you how you can use the new command button control in your own projects. What you see here is a small sample application, an application for filing a missing persons report for Sam the Eagle. The form that you can sh see here features just a small number of UI elements for inputting data. Also, at the bottom of the form, you can see that the application uses a command button control for sending off uh, the data that was input on for processing with the missing persons agency. As you can see here, a command button is a push button. But unlike a regular push button, which tends to be very small, with captions often consisting only of a single word, such as add or OK, and a command button is designed to carry more information. Uh, the possibility to add an additional line of text or even an image should leave no doubt as to what happens when the user clicks the button on this form here. The properties of the command button make it a perfect control for screens designed to guide the user through a certain process. Also, because of its increased size, and a command button control can be easily operated with the finger on systems supporting touch input. The command button control, just like all the other new controls that we made available for Xbox Plus Plus 2.0, were released as so-called assets. An asset is a ready-to-use software component like a, a UI control, a class, or a function that you can just grab from an asset repository and plug into your project. You do this directly from within the Xbox Plus Plus workbench, and this is what I'd like to show you now. In order to add um, a command button control to my project here, all I need to do is to select the active target in the project manager, right-click it with the mouse, and select the Manage Assets menu item. This brings up the Asset Browser, which lists all the assets that can be added to your target at this particular point in time. Also included in the off uh, asset list, of course, is uh, the command button control, which I now select. And when I click the Add button, all the files that make up the asset are taken uh, from the asset repository and installed in your project. As you can see here, the system has automatically modified your project so that it now contains references uh, uh, to the command button control. So each time when you uh, compile your target, uh, the command button is compiled alongside with it. Uh, the button has, in fact, just become a part of your project. When an asset is installed via the asset browser, the system automatically creates a special folder in your project directory, which is labeled .asset. In this folder, the system copies the asset file along with some housekeeping information. So this is where you find, for example, the um, XVP command button a PRG file, uh, which contains the um, implementation of the command button control. There's also a button style class, which defines uh, how the button is to appear on the screen. And because uh, uh, the command button was built using the web UI, which means its on-screen representation is defined by using HTML and CSS, also included in the bytes here is the HTML markup and the CSS style sheet. So, in case you want to change uh, the visual uh, appearance of the command button, this is where you need to go look. Now that the button has been made a part of your project, 
it's ready to be used in your source code. Uh, keep in mind though that what we are talking about here is an asset and not um, a part of, um, of the XPS++ product. This means, unfortunately, that there's no formal documentation available, but because you have the source code, all the information that you need in order to use the button is readily available to you. If you're wondering, for example, which um, instance variables uh, the command button class supports, all you need to do is to go into the implementation and all the information is available to you. There's an instance variable caption, for example, there's a way to assign information or text, and so on and so on. In addition, because the source code was on it, uh, annotated using the source code XML doc tag language, uh, the command button control has full support by uh, the Workbench's IntelliSense feature. So, if you're coding and you're wondering uh, which parameters the set color border method supports, for example, just type it in and the system will aid you in your coding process. Okay, so let's now put a button on the form here so that you can see how this works. I prepared the code in advance so you don't see me writing, making typos in Office. Okay. Just like with any other XSpace part, the first thing that you need to do is you need to create an object that you can work with. This you then use to set the options that you wanted to have, for example, the caption string, the information at text. I'm assigning an image here which in this case uh, I load from desk, but this could also come from the application's resource. And this is all there is to it, basically. So when I now compile the project and run it, here's our command button. Okay, you should have now an, uh, have an idea how you can use the XBase++ workbench uh, to add a command button control to your project. Also, you have seen uh, what you need to do to put a touch a control on your form, and with this, you should be ready to utilize the new control in your own applications. I hope you have enjoyed the show, and please stay tuned for more videos from Alaska Software.